Do you find yourself spending way too much time jumping between all your social media channels for manually creating and posting content? Well, don't worry, we've all been there before and today I'm gonna help you save time and energy by leveraging a leading social media management software called Later. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and thanks for popping along if it's your first time here. Now today in this later tutorial, I'm gonna share how you can simply use this dynamic tool to set up, manage and streamline your social media scheduling and posting activities from one convenient location using later. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into later, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and streamline your social media marketing activities with later. <music> Okay, so for those that currently do not have a Later account, simply head over to your browser and type in later.com and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate over to create a free account. Now, Later offers a completely free forever plan that is suitable for small businesses. However, the free plan that Later offers does have some limitations. For example, you can only post 10 times per month per social platform and you can only access basic analytics and other basic features. What we recommend is getting started with the starter plan, which is more sufficient for small businesses, as this starter plan allows you to post up to 30 posts per month per social channel. And you also get access to essential social media management features, which we're gonna dive into in this tutorial. Now, it's also important to mention that both the free plan and the starter plan only allow you to manage one social set. This means you can only manage one set of each of your social media channels. For example, you can only manage one Instagram account, one Facebook account, or one Twitter account. And both these plans are only for one user. However, if you decide you need more users and you need to manage more social sets and you also want to access more advanced features that Later has to offer, you can always upgrade to a higher tier plan later on. And each of these paid plans offer a 14 day free trial so you can see which plan works best for you and your business. Okay, so back here, what you want to do is go ahead and get started for free with Later if you currently do not have an account. Now, what I've done is already created a fresh starter account to help you navigate through all the essential features you need to know in order to better manage your social media. So go ahead, sign up, and we'll meet you inside Later. Remember, we selected the starter plan for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so here we are inside our Fresh Later account. Now the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and download the Later app onto your mobile device. This is going to allow you to manage all your different social media marketing and management activities directly from your mobile device. This app will also help you make the most of Later. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and downloaded the Later app on iOS or Android, we next need to connect our social media profiles. Remember, the whole purpose of a social media management software like Later is to save time and energy when creating and posting content. And with Later, what we can do is bulk create content and then schedule all this content across our different social media platforms. This is going to reduce the time friction of manually jumping between all your different social media platforms to post content. So what you want to do is navigate over here and connect the social media platforms that you want to manage with Later. At the moment, Later allows you to connect your Instagram account, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok. Okay, so go ahead and take the time to connect your social media channels. I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now and then meet you back here. And as you can see, with just a few clicks, you can connect your social media channels to later. Now, if I navigate up to schedule two, you can see the four social media channels that I've connected. I've connected my Instagram business account, my Facebook business page, my Twitter account, and my LinkedIn account. And if you want to connect any of these other profiles, all you need to do is select the profile and sign in to your account. 
Now, if we navigate over to calendar over on the left hand side, you can see that we have calendar selected. This is where you're going to spend most of your time when it comes to creating, scheduling and posting content. And because this is a fresh account, if I navigate over here, you can see that we have no content. If we navigate up to the top, we can connect Dropbox or our Google Drive to simply add content that we want to use in our posts. And we can also click on upload media to upload media. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and upload a bunch of media for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and manually uploaded content from my computer. Now we can navigate up to show filters and we can filter the content that we want to see. For example, we have all media here. If we click the drop down, we can view all the media that we've uploaded. We can also view all the used media that we've used in our posts and we can also view all the unused media. And this is incredibly useful if you've already uploaded a ton of media and you just want to create content from media that you haven't used yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hide filters and then next to schedule two, I can select the social media channels that I want to create a post and schedule that post to. So at the moment I have my Instagram page selected. What I can also do is select my Facebook page and then maybe my LinkedIn profile. So now what I want to do is create and schedule a post that will be distributed to these three profiles. To do that, simply navigate down to your content and simply select the content that you want to turn into a post. So as you can see, I've selected two photos and a video. Now, if I just want to select one image, let's say this image here and turn that into a post, then what I can do is click and drag that image onto my calendar and place that media into the time that I want to schedule this content. So I'm going to go 4 p.m. And again, what we can do is navigate up here and change the time and date when I want to publish this content. Then as you can see, we have the image here. I can come down and I can click edit image. And up here, we can simply go ahead and crop our image to fit the different social media channels if we like. Then below that, we can change the filter and we can also navigate down to text and add text to our image. But I'm happy with my image, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and click on update image. Then we can simply add the caption to this post. Then we can navigate down and we can add emojis. We can also add save captions. Now this is going to help you save time by simply saving and reusing captions that you use often. So for example, if I click on save captions, I can navigate up to create a saved caption because I currently have none and then simply title your caption and then add your caption and simply click save caption. And I'm going to go ahead and use this save caption. And then what we want to do is navigate over to hashtag suggestions. This is a powerful feature that allows you to identify relevant hashtags. So for example, if we navigate over here and type in small business and then click on suggest, later is going to generate all these relevant hashtags that you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and select small business tips, entrepreneur life. And if we navigate down, I'm going to select startup business tips and then business down here and then click on insert hashtags. And as you can see, that's going to add those hashtags. And as you can see up here, we want to schedule this post across three channels. Then come down and click on customize three posts and that's going to generate your post across the three different profiles that you want to post this content to. For example, under LinkedIn, we can go ahead and we can slightly modify the post caption if we like. We can also edit the image or change the media. If we navigate up to our Facebook business page, again, we have those same options. And then if we navigate up to Instagram, you can see we have more options down here. We can add a first comment. We can add a link in bio. And basically later simply allows you to add all your important links onto a landing page that you can add to your social media posts. Similar to Linktree, this is a link in bio tool. We can also add a location, tag people and tag products. However, this is only available for auto publish only. Now with your Instagram account, you cannot automatically publish that content unless you're using an Instagram business account. Now, because this is a creator's account, I can't automatically publish. Now, when I save this post and schedule these three posts, I will get a notification on the mobile app 
telling me to post my Instagram post. This is because I have sender notified on as the publishing method. And like I mentioned, you cannot automatically publish unless you have an Instagram business profile. However, you'll be notified when you can publish this post. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come down and click on save three posts. And as you can see, just like that, you've scheduled a post. So what we're gonna do is come down and click done. And as you can see over on our calendar under Friday the 16th, we have three posts that will be published at 4 p.m. on Friday. You can click on each of these posts and that's gonna allow you to further customize your post. So what we're gonna do is exit out of that. And we can also navigate over to month next to week and that's gonna allow us to view the content that we have scheduled by the month. And for example, let's say that I just wanted to create a post and schedule that post on my Facebook business page. Then all I would do is unselect my Instagram account and also unselect my LinkedIn account. And as you can see, I only have my Facebook business page highlighted. Then what I would do is select my media. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this post and I'm gonna simply drag that post into my calendar over here. And as you can see, if we navigate up here, auto publish is on. If I navigate over here, I can change the date. So I'm gonna go ahead and go the 30th and then I can change the time down here. And again, I have these options over here for customizing this post to be scheduled on Facebook. So what I'm gonna do is come down and click discard post and click discard. Now, if we navigate over to media below calendar on the left hand side, and then under media, what we can do is go ahead and manage our media that we've uploaded to our library. We can also collect additional media from Instagram. So for example, we can search tags, mentions, search by profile or by hashtag to collect content from Instagram that we wanna use in our own marketing activities. Now you do need to be careful in terms of copyright. You wanna make sure that you're mentioning the individual that is creating the content if you're reusing someone else's content. And then down here, we can access stock photos from the Unsplash photo library. And then down here under submitted media, what we can do is add contributors. This means external people can upload media to your later profile for you to use in your social media marketing activities. However, you do need to upgrade your plan in order to use this feature. Then if we navigate up to conversations, this is where you can engage in comments across Instagram and TikTok. You can reply, read and delete comments. Again, you will need to upgrade your plan. Then below conversations, we also have analytics and this allows you to identify how your different channels are performing. So for example, you have a brief overview of your different channels. If we navigate over to audience, you can view when your audience is engaged with your content. You can also view audience demographics and audience by gender down here, as well as location and language. Then if we navigate over to post performance, this is where you can identify and compare the performance of your posts. Then if we navigate over to real performance, we can view your real performance on Instagram, story performance and link in bio analytics. Again, if we navigate down to link in bio, this is where you can create a landing page to manage all your different links. These are the important links that you want people to be able to find. Now, this is an important tool because platforms like TikTok and Instagram only allow one link in the bio. However, with this link in bio tool, your visitors can click on the one link on TikTok or Instagram and view all your different links as well as other content that you want to display. For example, you can add buttons, you can add videos, you can add posts, your different social media channels, and a shoppable feed. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back over to Calendar. And that is everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial helping you get started with later so that you can better manage your social media marketing activities. And there we have it guys, that is it for the social media management tutorial using Later. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this Later tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.